Ahoy mates! Welcome on board the Norwegian Joy. We are here for our very first ever Norwegian cruise on a 12 night sailing. So if you're interested in more information on that, be sure to check out our ship tour and our daily vlogs. All of those will be located in our Norwegian Joy playlist. But for today's video, I want to take you around and give you a tour of our accommodations for this cruise. We are staying in a family suite room. It's super awesome. It has two bedrooms. It can sleep up to six people and it has a little nice display thing. You'll see right behind me. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of our family suite on board the Norwegian Joy begins right now. So just down from the midship elevators and stairs, we arrive to room or suite 14605, which does have a doorbell down below. And it's cool how they have these little lights that let the stateroom attendant know what the situation is with the room. Also a very nice big entryway so you can get out of the hallway when you're trying to get in and out of your room. Really nice. All right, let's head in, take a look. Here is our view as we come in to the room, but we have a lot of stuff to explore. Well, let's get started with what's right behind me. So we begin with our standard entryway for pretty much all cruise ship cabins. You're going to have your door with your safety information on it, your handle and your deadbolt lock there, peephole with cover hidden inside the safety information there. And then just to the right of that, we will have our main thermostat area, as well as the indicator buttons like we showed the lights outside. If you need the room made up or if you do not want to be disturbed, you can just use that instead of like a little hanger or whatever. Down below is the little card slot for you put your key card in to give power to the room, use the lights and the AC, but they have provided this little card that we can use instead, which is really nice. And just so you know, there's a standard outlet down below there. Over to the left of the door, we will find a little cubby with a shelf on top and a mirror as you come in. So obviously a great spot to leave wallet or keys, things like that that you might want to grab as you're heading out. Let's turn over here to the right and we will see our dining area. We do have a nice table and chairs there for top and then our little wet bar and phone area over there to the side. But behind the table, we do have some closets. Let's take a look at those. So here is our closet space in the main living area, two sided and uh, both sides illuminate when you open the doors, which is really nice. They're pretty much mirror images. You do have a storage cubby up top on either side and then the little hanging rack down below, they do have the hangers over here on the one side, and then it's just open down to the floor. So you could put suitcases or other things, maybe shoes inside of there, and you do get a nice full-size umbrella as well. And as I mentioned earlier, just next to our dining table, we do have our wet bar and phone area. So we have this really fancy coffee, Nespresso, machine don't ask me to get too in detailed with it because i don't drink coffee and i don't know what all these different things are but there they are all the stuff you can need plus some little instructions there about how to use the machine if you're a coffee or espresso or whatever this is drinker i'm sure you know what all of this is so i don't really need to explain it do have our cabin phone right there and as well as there is a plug back here which is to be utilized by the nespresso machine but there's another plug that's open and a european plug as well light switch there for the lights up above the bar area do have some glasses and mugs as well as our ice bin over here on the side and up top a little shelf that does have our room service and mini bar information in there as well as the little slips you can fill out for the continental breakfast delivery and the delivery service on demand qr code you can scan down below we have a trash can hidden in the little alcove and then we open this up and we will find a little mini fridge inside here which does have some water i believe that comes at an additional charge i do see a price listed on it there 650 so but you do have a lot of storage space in there if you want to leave some leftovers or cool down some drinks you have that option now before we do the rest of the living area i wanted to point out you'll see a door on that side and you'll see a door on this side those go into the two bedrooms we'll get to those in just a little bit but first we must finish this main area so over on this side of the cabin we have the nice artwork above as well as the lighting and then down below a super large comfortable couch and this does convert into a bed space because this stateroom can sleep up to six people you're going to have two in each bedroom space and then you can sleep two here let me show you how this works even though the stateroom attendant will set this up for you i just want to give you an idea of what this bed space is like at least what i think it's supposed to be like all right so we have to move the little table and chair here out of the way and our pillows on top and then you have these upper cushions here pull those out and then we have this long cushion here. And as you see down below, there is a handle 
on this lower section. So what I think is supposed to happen here is the state room attendant would pull this out on the slides there, kind of trundle style, like that, and then this would fit into the space that just opened up, like so. You, can tuck, you would tuck that in there, obviously. And then you could put the cushions back for headspace or whatever. So just to give you an idea, it's not the biggest bed space in the world, but definitely two kids or whatever could easily fit in the space. It is very low to the floor, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, now that we have our couch set back up, I can point out again that we do have a small table and one sitting chair there. It's very plush, very comfortable, and a remote for the television, which is mounted up on the wall there, straight across. They'll also put any information for you on boarding right there on the uh, kind of countertop area that you see. And then you have all these drawers down below. There's like a little cabinet on either side. And then you have like a smaller pull-out drawer on the top and a larger pull-out drawer on the bottom. And they're all soft clothes. So it's just kind of mirror image on either side there. So you can have people who are staying in here in this area of the living room can store things down below or in the closet that we showed earlier, as I mentioned, TV mounted. And I should point out that the TV in the living room is actually hard mounted. So it does not tilt, it does not swivel or pivot. It does not extend out from the wall. It is firmly mounted there in this space. But if you have small enough hands, you can squeeze in there and access some HDMI and USB ports should you need those. And then we get to our main focal point of this stateroom. The stateroom is technically an interior room. Even though it's a suite, it is an interior room. So you don't have an ocean view, you don't have a balcony. But what they've done is put these nice curtains up, put this little railing here, and they broadcast a live feed from outside the ship onto these screens. So it looks like you have a balcony, but it is actually a virtual balcony. And it's really cool though. It gives you an idea since you don't have an actual balcony, you can still kind of get an idea of what the weather's like, where you're at if you're in port, or if you're looking out at sea or something like that. And it's live. See, there goes a taxi dropping someone off for their cruise. So it's really cool. We've seen this on other cruise lines as well, but nicely done here. I think even better than what we've seen before, how they fully dressed it out, added the rail. It actually does look pretty real. And I should point out that up above the couch here, kind of tucked up on this wall that juts out the you know, by the doorway that goes into the uh, second bedroom, that you'll see another mood lighting panel up top there, but then you'll also see this little panel, which controls the virtual balcony. So you can turn it off and on there at the bottom. It does have volume buttons as well, though I haven't noticed anything with volume, but uh, that is where you control that. You can, of course, also just close the curtains on it, but if you wanted to turn it off completely, that's where you would do it. You might've noticed this up on the wall. This is like actual mood lighting, so you can do the different settings and it will change what the lighting looks like inside, which is pretty cool. Now let's head into the first of the two bedroom areas. Here we are, we see our bed space tucked over in the corner there right when we enter. And that of course is the main bed. It's already made up and set up there, but there is another bed up above, a Pullman that does come down from the ceiling. I believe some of these category rooms actually have a bed here mounted on the wall that just flips down, but I kind of like this setup a little bit more. It's pretty cool how you can do that, and then you get this little kind of trench that you could keep things in, like maybe the remote or your phone or something like that. So that's a pretty nice setup there. And then out in front of that, you do have a table and even like a little ottoman or a little seat that you could uh, sit on there for the table. Bedside, you do have a nightstand with a couple of cubby areas in it. And then up above that, we do have some light switches. One will flip the main lights off in the room as there is also a light switch for that right when you come in. And the other controls the upper lamp area, which has three components. So there's this large shade area, there's the reader lamp that you can point, and then there is a light underneath as well. And those are controlled by these little switches on the side. So you can flip that on down below and then do those individually. And also important to note, there's a USB port tucked up in there. So if you need to charge your phone, you can do that bedside, which is nice. Got some artwork in here. And then over to the side, we have our desk TV vanity area, lighting up above, a little bit of storage up top if you needed it, and a small shelf here at the mirror. We're gonna have another light switch for the mirror lights, and then you're gonna have your standard outlets as well as a European plug. Down below, there is a little table or ottoman or little seat for sitting at the desk. And this little hard part actually does pop off. So you can use that either way that you would choose. You have a trash can and a little hair dryer mounted down there 
which is kind of nice, not just tucked away in a drawer. Speaking of drawers, there are six of them here and they are all the same size, pull out and a nice soft close feature, nothing special hidden in them so they are all equal. Up above that along the vanity and then we do have some storage here you could put books magazine maybe a purse or something a slot for the remote and of course the tv the tv does tilt and it does like pivot from side to side but it does not come out and extend from the wall any that is kind of locked into place so you can move it around like that but it will not extend there are however a couple of power plugs a little hard to see but they're back there standard outlets that you can plug into and the tv does have usb and hdmi ports if you wanted to use a streaming device next to the tv we do have our main entryway where we just came in and as i mentioned you have the main light switch there for the uh, for the room and then we turn and we'll see the entrance to the bathroom as well as a closet space here with a light up above which is nice so you can grab that Pull that open just be careful with these kind of doors it's really easy to pinch your finger so you want to be very delicate when opening the closet we do have a storage like cubby space up top and then our hanging racks right down below that and then it's just open all the way down to the bottom so good place to put suitcases or things like that though you could also store them under the bed across from the closet door there are a few hanging pegs which is nice I wanted to point out there's also a thermostat in here inside of this room area which is great have your light switch for the bathroom before you go in so let's open the door and head inside and we see here we're gonna have a few shelves mounted right into the mirror which is pretty cool some washcloths and uh, sharps disposal unit shower cap shower poof and some more cloths down below and your standard toilet paper and tissue and extra towels stored there uh, tissue dispenser area right there on the side and then you have a long sink vanity area but it is just the one sink or faucet here on the side a few drinking glasses mounted on the wall and then you're going to have the up the uh, excuse me upgraded lox ton bath amenities right there as well as your main towel racks right where you enter now down below there is some under sink storage you'll find another trash can disposal area and a couple of shelves down below we have our standard toilet and then the glassed in shower encased in glass shower however you want to say it which is really nice and quite large as you can see there is a clothesline going across you can unhook that and it will zip right back in you do have your adjustable and removable shower head a handle to help you get in and out and your adjustments for uh, water flow and temperature there as well as the, again the upgraded amenities for L'Occitane mounted inside looks like we have shampoo conditioner and shower gel plus a couple of little shelves no footrest or anything like that down below for shaving it's just straight down to the floor and the drain and with the living room space complete and the second bedroom space complete we can now head across into what I would call the master bedroom area and here is our view as we enter the master bedroom space. So looking back at the door that we entered into, I wanted to point out there is one of those, what I'm calling mood lighting stations there as well. And behind the door, you do have a full length mirror. So that's very nice if you're getting ready. You need to check your outfit. This room also has a TV mounted up to the wall and it is not like the other bedroom. It's like the living room, firm mounted. It does not tilt pivot, swivel, extend in any sort of way, but it does have the ports that you can access. As you can see, we have our basically king size bed over here on the side, and then we're gonna have a desk vanity area, and we're gonna enter to the bathroom over here, closets on the left. So let's go one by one and take a deeper look at each of these spaces. Starting with the closet space. So over here on the side, we do have this cabinet up top that has a couple of cubby shelves and then a safe on the lowest one, which is very small my hand does not even fit all the way inside so not putting anything too big into that one and then you do have this open little shelf space cabinet area right below that as well as some drawers down below which all appear to be the same size and uh, soft close actually no the, the two on top the top and the middle are bigger or smaller excuse me and then the bottom one is larger but they are all soft close and let me open up these closet doors so we can see what's behind them and I forgot that these are actually slide closet doors, not the pivot angled ones like in the other room. So you actually gonna have to go one by one. So they just slide over, which is nice. Don't have to worry about pinching your fingers. Storage space up above, hanging rack in the middle, and then open all the way down below. Door number two, also a storage space up above, hanging rack, but this one has the laundry bag and a robe 
And there are some slippers down below. What's behind door number three? Could be money, could be a trip, could be a zonk. No, no zonk, just a closet space. So this one is not illuminated like the other ones were. That's kind of weird. Storage space up, hanging rack middle, open all the way down. And then door number four, our final closet space. Again, storage spot up, hanging rack middle, open all the way down. So a lot of similarities between them. Now we get into our bed space. As you can see, nice big comfy bed. Got the plush headboard area mounted up against the wall there. And then on either side, it's pretty much a mirror image. You're gonna have a nightstand with a small cubby and a larger cubby below that. And then these cool little blue night lights at the bottom so you don't stub your toe. You can see where you're walking without having blinding light in your face. Up top, these are light switches that'll control the different lights in the room. So you can turn all those off on this side or on the other side. You can use those at your will. And you do have a European plug there as well. Lighting up top is similar how we saw in the other bedroom where you have the reader light that you can move and point. This light up top and you can control those with the switches on the side and there is a USB plug as well. So like I said, pretty much a mirror image. That's what you're gonna have on this side, except instead of a European outlet, you're gonna have a standard US plug outlet there. But you do get the USB plug and the light switch just like you did on the other side as well as the cool little night light. And it is open underneath the bed. So if you wanted to store luggage or something else, you would have that option. Now for our desk vanity area, we do have the little countertop, remote for the television, another phone, and then we have a standard US plug as well as a European plug there, light switch for the lights up above. We're gonna have the hair dryer mounted down below like we saw in the other bedroom, trash can, and then our little seat or ottoman or whatever you wanna use it for. Little shelf above the mirror and some lights so you can see yourself. You do have a few hanging pegs over here on the wall next to that, which is nice. And then a thermostat in this room as well. And as best as I can tell, these are individual climate zone thermostats because I just tested it and tried to bump the one up in here and it didn't change the ones in the other room. So I think they are individual zones, if I'm not mistaken. Last thing, we have our light switch before we head into the master bathroom. So right when we come in, we'll see our toilet off to the side. Standard toilet, but you have a ton of space because this bathroom is pretty large. We're going to have our toilet paper and our handle over here on the side, as well as a little towel rack up above. We're going to have the bath amenities and the drinking glasses mounted on the wall like we saw in the other bathroom. Illuminated light above the mirror there, mirror down below. And then this sink is quite large and actually has two faucets. So two people could use these at the same time get a little shower cap and your loofah or whatever it's called, a little bath sponge there, like the tile work. And then you're gonna have extra storage space down below with the extra towels. You're gonna have your tissue down below here and a little storage drawer trash can down in there, as well as two big pull-out drawers on either side. On the back of the bathroom door, you do have these little hanging hooks for your towels or your robe. And you're gonna have some towel racks here as you head into the tub shower combo yes as you can see it's an actual tub there it's not jetted or anything it's not a jacuzzi tub but a tub nonetheless and above that it's going to be a pretty standard setup with the handles to control the pressure and the temperature and your removable adjustable shower head like we saw in the other one clothesline goes across this way in here you do have a light and everything like that a little handle to help you get in and out of and the bath amenities the little shelves that are mounted there and this is actually glass doors that close so you're not dealing with a shower curtain nice little doors that close there and it even says soft close so you don't have to worry about banging these or shattering them or anything which is really great but because it is a tub you do have a large step up and in to that so just keep that in mind oh and i almost missed this but there is an electric shaver plug up top and i just went and checked and there is one in the other bathroom as well well there you have it friends that is our tour of the norwegian joy family suite that we are staying in. We think it's an awesome room. We think you might like it too. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information. If you'd like to book a cruise, we can help get it done. Our services are completely free and complimentary. So we hope we'll hear from you soon. Thanks for joining us for today's video. We'll see you next time. Happy travels.